All right, so the only things that I can think of would be to maybe throw something into that tripwire holding that grenade um, to open that door in the officer's quarters, right? Like, that's the, the initial thing I'm thinking. Outside of that, like, Ellipsian had said, I have a grenade that perhaps I could um, throw into something. What I need to do is find something I can throw at this tripwire. What can I pick up and throw? Anything? There's got to be something you can pick up and throw around here. Okay. Shit. You got me. Did you see that? Fuck. So it doesn't really work. I need to extend the door all the way to get it to blow up. See? I need to have it go all the way out. How would I push? How would I do that? Not working. I maybe like to die here just to see the thing kill me. I want to see the animation. Is the creature around here? I just want to see the creature. Where is the creature? Come on out. I want to see you. I want to get killed by it once. Where is it? It won't come out. I just made a shitload of noise. Fucking come out. Come. Did it get me? I think got. You don't get to see it? Oh, come on. What kind of a cop out is that? You don't get to see the creature. It just pulls you in the wall? That's... Oh, come on. That's nonsense. I don't even get to see the thing? <clears throat> That's really dumb in my opinion. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm going to be honest. That's That's actually pretty disappointing. You don't get to see what kills you? Hopefully it does fully come out later and you can see it. Alright, so... Man, I don't know what to do. What if I... I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna die. Watch. I just chill in the dark till it goes away? I need my flashlight to see in this room. Cause I can't see shit. It's too dark. Ah. A shotgun shell and a single bullet. Well, I got a bullet. I mean, that's good that I got a bullet. But it sucks I got a shotgun shell. I don't have a fucking shotgun, right? <clears throat> I think that's it. That's all that was in here. The single bullet. I shoot that or like what do I do what is that how would I get into this room there's definitely a way in but how like, how do I get in I don't know what that is like what what's blocking the door here can't tell there's a dog tag Do I shoot whatever that is? Or I have no idea what to do here to get this door open. Maybe I do throw the grenade.
can carry more items in your inventory. Okay. So I have an inventory upgrade. That's good. Okay. Uh, I am now putting into writing what I've reported to both my immediate superiors. Last evening, the 14th of May, I was assigned to aid the engineers in mapping the Roman tunnels. As I entered the deepest area of the tunnel, I noticed strange glowing liquid seeping from the walls. When I turned around, the walls of the tunnels themselves were suddenly gone, and I was standing in a vast plain of darkness. In the distance, there was a sickly light that seemed to be calling me forward. Between it and me, malformed shadows moved. I blinked again. It was gone. I'm back in the tunnel. It lasted but a split second, but I'm quite convinced what I saw was no daydream. It was real. Since that experience, I have felt haunted. Like a part of me is still there, stuck in those tunnels. I keep seeing visions of shapes moving at the edges of my vision. I'm formally requesting medical leave. Please help me. What on earth? All right, six something seven one. Del J. Delisle and G. Travers. I think, was there a Delisle? I want to say there was a Delisle in that room that had all the lockers. We got another bullet. So we should load the gun now. Though I get the feeling that the bullets are more for puzzles than shooting anything, you know, for combat. I think that's all that's in here, right? This guy's crazy drawing it, you know, the faces on the walls and everything. Alright, so what's next? Where where were we that we needed to open lockers? Now I can't remember. Right? Now I can't remember because now we're already in this freaking, like, uh, maze. And I can't remember what was the room that had all the lockers in it. it wasn't here, right? No, this was the room down here that has the, the wine. We can't open this yet. We need to have, like, bolt cutters or something to take this off, which we don't have yet. So we can't do that yet, right? I'm trying to remember where was the room that had all the lockers in. I've already forgotten. Not good. So this room's done. We got the code. I guess I want to say it was the other way, right? I think it was. Soldiers' quarters. Let's save again. And I can carry one more item. That's just spectacular. One more singular item. All right. I guess we're going to try to go back to that room that had the lockers. Maybe in that locker there's a key item or something that we need. Maybe, maybe not, right? Okay. I don't know. Soldier quarters is circled. See that? We need to get a new handle to put on there. See that? So I think we go to mission storage, and in there we can now use this code to open it, and maybe that'll open the soldier's quarters. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Should we add more gas while we're here? Maybe. Yeah, I guess. There we go. Alright, there's a lot of trolling tonight. I've been ignoring a lot of it, but when I look here, I'm going to basically start just banning people now. You know? Let's see. Hold on. Everyone, please bear with me for a second here. All right, get rid of this guy. A few people trolling. You know, I'm not, like I said, I'm just not mentioning it. You know, I'm trying to be cool about it. But uh, I'll take care of it now. If you take, really take a look here. Okay. All right, are we good now? Oh, thank you, uh... Moderator just showed up. I appreciate you helping out with the moderations. So that way I don't have to scan and do it myself. Thank you. Okay. Alright, so I think we need to go back this way. To the, where was the room that had the lockers? Over here.
this it? Yes. So what's the one we just found? We just found Delisle. Oh look, I didn't. I didn't find this before. Ninth of July. Oh. I do not know the time, but dusk has fallen, and still, of course, no word. Actual audio uh, when I dialogue. Asked the sergeant, he shrugged, as if I was asking about when it might next rain. These fools around me, laughing, drinking, arguing. Do they know what I've done? Do they suspect it? I feel they must all be guilty of something. And yet, they laugh, drink, argue. God knows what I've done. I wonder if his judgment could be worse than my own. Okay. Travers. What are we looking for again? We're looking for Delisle. Marble, Gerard. Oh, fuck. Delisle. We got it. And the code is uh, six three seven one. All right, now we can go do it. Prison's now open. Achievements! Gave the all clear. Release the emergency lockdown. Should we go save? No, when I did that, is that just for the prison or is that for the entire facility? I have no idea, right? I have no idea, right? Was that for the entire... Was that open every emergency lockdown door in the place? Or is that just going to be just for the prison? I don't know. <clears throat> I'm doing good, Airhead. Thanks for asking. <clears throat> yeah, I wish uh, I knew. I wish I knew what that was going to be, right? So. Hmm. Shall we just go right to the prison since it was right next door? I mean, it's kind of the logical way they probably want you to go because it's right next to it. Well, I can't come in here. Am I hurt? Yes. Hopefully we just lost it. Achievement got introduced. Survived your first encounter with the beast. Okay, cool. That was pretty cool. Got to a safe room, locked the door behind us so it can't follow us, and uh, it runs away. It basically realizes it can't reach you anymore. Okay. Get all my points. Cool. It's a death claw. Eh, it looks like a mutated freak. Like they were doing weird experiments or something, right? We've seen we've seen this plot before. The weird experimentation leads to to fucked up results, right? 
Oh, excuse me. Okay, so we've done this. Okay, so this is open. The prison, right? Wait. Communications. That's new. This is all new. All right, let's see what's in soldier quarters and communications. It's cool to have you here tonight, Jane. Uh, Haseo says, now we know what it looks like. Yes, now we know it's a mutated freak of some sort. Oh, oh, God. Loading. Oh, God. <laughs> that was bad. Alright, bonus gas. And what is this? Cloth to craft a healing item. Okay, inventory space. Door's locked. There's a new map. I gotta find a way to get it open, right? Attention, the power in the part of the facility is daisy chained. Shut off the power in one section in the chain. The subsequent areas will go off as well. Switches should only be turned off under extraordinary circumstances like when I say so. Pranks and mischief will be reported directly to Raynard. Doors locked. They have X's on the doors. I wonder what the hell that means. Doors locked. All these doors are locked, huh? Mess hall and security. Use a key. Should we go to the security office? See what's down there. Something's moving over there. Are those rats? I know those are rats. I don't have the meat. I put the meat away. More gas and a first aid. I'm gonna get lost. Those look like rats to me, killer rats. What the fuck? Yeah, they're mutant rats. Did they come after you? I right, know I could craft an item here, right? Okay. They're feasting. The rats are feasting. Didn't like that. Neuer has been telling us of the tunnel texts. Describing what these tunnels were used for. But I didn't need him to tell me. I've seen it. I was in there in the dark. I dream of it every night now. Dreams are so real that when I wake the day itself feels like the dream. I'm at a ritual. It begins with the drinking of a liquid, sweet and thick, like mucus or honey, repulsive yet intoxicating. As I drink, it warms my body, fills me with a lust for all things carnal, sex, blood, and flesh. Around me are others, their faces hidden, their bodies rippling. I know we all serve the same master to the same end, a place in her unending kingdom. Immortality. The things I do in these dreams, a terrible world of horror bloody and twirled that make the charnel pit of the war seem more like mere play. I wake horrified but in the dreams I am elated. The worst part, at the end of every day, I want to be asleep. I want to go back to that place. I want to feel that way. I want the violence and the ecstasy and the pitch black darkness. There you go. So, so it's weird. Like, they're having these visions of being something else. They're all losing their minds. So I assume I need to ignore... Oh, there's a dog tag here I need to get, but the rats are there. So you know what I need to do? I need to distract the rats with that meat, which I don't have on me right now. But if I can find more meat, right? All right. Okay. Nope, the door doesn't open. Oh, it does. Shut up, rats. I'm not coming after you. By the way, here's a trip wire, so be careful here. Another door that won't open. Or is it the same door? 
Now this is the other side, right? No, this is the yeah, it's the same same corridor. All right, so what I should do is I should go put more gas in the tank and save, and then come back, right? That way I don't have to do that again. And we need to go get the meat. Once I get the piece of meat, I can distract that rat or those rats, and then I can uh, get what that is. Yeah, I know. Shut up. Okay. Should be safe. Now I can put gas in here, right? Yep. No, didn't finish. I should put them both in. Should also use first aid. Okay. What's hilarious it says right on it, Kibana all times, the fucker hates light. Still came after me anyway. It didn't care that the lights were on, it just came after me anyway, so it sounds like that's bullshit. That if you keep the light on, it'll still come after you regardless. So we need to grab that meat so we can go try to get rid of those rats. Right? Use that meat. Hopefully they'll go after the meat. What does it say? It says, Should we not be consumed by soldiers? Better used to attract rodents and other bunker pests can be thrown. So maybe if we throw it on the other end of the room, they'll go there and we can grab the dog tag. And that'll give us another one of the codes we need to make advancement, I'm thinking. Right? I hope. I don't know what else to do outside of that. So hopefully that's what we're supposed to be doing and we just save. We'll save again. Right? Now, by the way, I just want to say this and again. Don't take offense, but if anyone contributed tonight and it didn't, and I'm not shouting it out or whatever, let me know. You know, it's insanely rare that I would have been streaming for 90 minutes and got one contribution. That never happens. So I don't know if it's just chance and a bad night or if it's that things are, people are having issues, but no one said a word to me. So I'm going to assume that everything is working, right? That everything's fine, but let me know if something's going wrong because remember, this has happened before. And then all of a sudden, someone will be like, well, "Why you're not doing any shout-outs tonight or something? And I was like, well, what are you talking about? Right? And I was like, I don't know. And then I looked, and I refreshed, and then there was all these contributions. I was like, why didn't you send me any information? Why didn't you send me any notifications? So let me know if that's happening. But, you know, if that's the case, and there's nothing, that, that then it's fine. I'm just saying, you know, I wanted to be sure that I'm not missing anything and people are getting upset. All right? Someone just did a Wings meme uh, super chat. It's pretty old, no? They're saying it's a 2016 meme. That's pretty old. So there you go. Wings of PDF. Thanks for the super chat. So that is one super chat of the night, right? Yeah. First super chat of the night. Thank you for that. Okay. Now, ready? So I guess if we... I'm, correct me if I'm wrong. If I run, does the monster come after me more often? Because I was running to save time, and then the goddamn thing uh, grabbed me. And I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe the, it was the running that attracted the creature, right? I, I don't know. I'm not sure. But it sure seemed that way, right? Noise attracts him, so the running attracted him. That's why he grabbed me. Okay, thank you, Ellipsian. Right? Okay. So, let's go back to those rats. The question is... Oh, look what I found. What is that? A key! For use in the door to communications. Oh, sweet. Well, that was important. Okay. But now what I want to do is I want to equip this. And I want to throw the meat somewhere to get these rats away. So I'll throw it in the background. Ready?
that didn't work at all. Uh, like, not at all, at all. Where did it go? Only like two of them went after it. Well, it fucked up. I got the trophy for it. I can't move, look. And there's nothing on it either. So how stupid was that? I got the trophy for doing it, but then I picked up the dog tag and there was nothing on the dog tag. So you don't need to do that. You're actually going in there to get the key. The dog tag's a trap. Now I know. The dog tag is a trap. Okay. Uh, yes, we do cook from scratch. Dave, we do cook from scratch. A lot, actually. So, should I not take the meat then? Because it seems like the meat was a trick and we don't need it anymore, right? So, I'll probably just leave it then. We'll go get the communications key and then we'll use that key to uh, to open the door to communications. We gotta figure out where that is. I think we were on the right track. So it was a trick. It was a dirty trick. You think, oh, I distract these rats and then the freaking you pick up the dog tag and nothing on it. <laughs> Sons of bitches. Would I ever try practicing dark magic in real life? No. I would not try practicing dark magic in real life. Okay. There's the key. Okay. So now the question is, where's the door to communications? Right? We actually don't know. I don't think we found it yet. It said it was down here. Well, I don't think we discovered it. Could it be this door straight ahead here? It is. Oh, okay. Cool. See shit. Look how dark it is in here. All right. Very dark. I guess the daisy chain didn't work, huh? So here we go. Let's read this. Uh, Farber is gone. Insanity and chaos. We were in the mess. It burst from the shadows right behind Boys Rond. But Farber was there, ready, practically threw himself in front of the thing, and he shot it, hit it in the head dead on. The thing retreated. We thought for sure it was dead, but then, not ten minutes later, it came back for him. I heard him screaming, being pulled into the wall, praying for salvation. Now I can hear it moving again, getting closer. I have to move now, or else we're all going to suffer this fate. So, it's a resilient son of a bitch, apparently. All right. Um, Bloomcat just did a super chat. I've been listening to an occult podcast. Some of that stuff's pretty wild. Don't know if I'd ever try it, but it sure is interesting. So in my earlier days as a YouTuber, when I was just starting to get popular as a gamer, I had this idea that eventually I did actually want to do some paranormal stuff. Because I am someone who is open-minded. Just because I've never experienced it myself doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And since I was like, dude, if I'm popular on YouTube and anything I put on YouTube, basically people watch. Can you imagine if I went to like an abandoned house or whatever with a group of people and we can like... Uh, you know, document our experiences. And the thing is, I would approach it as a skeptic, trying to logically approach it instead of saying, oh, we heard a noise, it must be a ghost. Say, well, what could it be? Try to, you know, I was interested in this. I talked about this many times over the years. Um, but ended up, what ended up happening was, you know, just like everything, you know, I was a, a prom prominent YouTuber from the years around 2010 to around 2012. Then around 2012, 2013, this is how you don't play started. Kind of that messed everything up because there was this negative association with me and all those plans kind of went out the window. You know, and it sucks because I think that there was a lot of potential at one time being a popular YouTuber that I could have kind of branched out to whatever I wanted. But then people decided to be toxic to me on the Internet and it kind of just spoiled any plans that I had of trying to change up anything. So there you go. You know, but I was interested at one point. I was like, Man, that would be cool. Imagine if I had like 
trips that I went on in Connecticut and other places. Connecticut actually has some documented haunted house in other places like that. And I was actually thinking about doing something like that. In fact, Project 7, Episode 4, all right, had a cliffhanger ending where it was supposed to tease a horror episode. And the horror episode, I was going to try to get a filming location like a hotel or, you know, an old abandoned building. And we were going to film in that for the episode. So it was going to kind of be the bridge between me doing the kind of content I was doing and maybe doing that other kind of stuff. But anyway, it never happened. So, I mean, neither here nor there. But uh, anyway, uh, I also received, uh, looks like another tip. Hold on. <clears throat> Darth Goldbach has sent me $5, which is the biggest contribution of the night so far. So thank you to Darth Goldbach for that. And says, was there a horror game that legitimately scared you good? I mean... Uh, to this day, I say this. All right? The game that scared me the most was Resident Evil 1 because it was the first survival horror game I ever played. I had literally never, ever played a game like that before. Oops. When I played Resident Evil 1. So by playing it, you know, having that dog jump scare in the hallway where it breaks the window and being low on ammo and not knowing what's around the next corner and, oh my God, it's a zombie. It bites you and you don't have healing now. That was the scariest to me ever. Because the thing is, after that, the genre was kind of created, and you kind of know what to expect. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I would say, you know, after Resident Evil 1, it was hard to get me scared again. Because I kind of knew exactly how these games would play or whatever, right? Um, you know, and there's other kinds of horror. For example, there's horror with jump scares, horror with gameplay elements, but then there's horror with psychological horror. You know, games such as uh, Soma. It makes you think about the human condition. What's real? What's not? What's human? What's not human? What's alive? What's not alive? What's well, you're gonna die one day? Can you deal with that? Um, most games don't make you tackle those kind of issues, you know. So that's kind of a different kind of scariness in horror, I would say, you know. So, all right. Anyway, let's continue. What else is in this room? Uh, another one of these flares, right? I don't know why this doesn't work. Healing. Claw. To Sergeant Farber. Not Sergeant. SDT. I don't know what that stands for. I was there when they pulled your friend Neuer from the tunnel. He'd been screaming for hours before he was located. Tried, tied to the stretcher. He was still trying to scream, but all that came out was a horrible rasp. All the engineers have seen things down there, myself included. We should talk you and I about what is to be done. Let me know when. Ozan. So I guess because he was, he was on the stretcher... Whatever this creature was didn't seem as a threat and didn't go after him, you see? But he saw it and he freaked out, you know, knowing that, that it existed. I don't know, a place to hide? Well, it looks like we need to shoot this lock, no? Probably the best course of action. I've spoken to no one of what's written in this text, I swear it, but how now LaRue comes out of the tunnels claiming to have seen things described in them. My rational mind cannot accept that this might be coincidence, nor can it accept the alternative. I have to tell the others what's written in the text, tell them and warn them. They've punished LaRue for speaking out about what he saw, and now Raynard has sent for me. I'm sure I am to be punished as well. We're stuck between the Germans in front of us, High Command behind us, and some horrible force that seems to lurk in the shadows all around us. I fear we're now truly beyond God's reach. I've been locked in Delpy's cells for the past two nights. Raynard's punishment for me speaking about the text. Uh, nightmare after nightmare there. Dreams of darkness, seductive darkness, voices welcoming me. So they are having these weird hallucinations, right? They've had everyone there is having these weird hallucinations in addition to also seeing this creature. That's that's weird and interesting. Why are they having these hallucinations about stuff? I returned to my bunk. And was met with the men, all of whom now have tales to tell. Nicolay, Farber, Hulebeck, on and on. They're all hearing things and dreaming things. Nights are now spent in the grip of a fear that crawls up the spine and digs its claws behind the eyes, piercing mind and soul. But after what happened to LaRue and me, none dare speak to the officers, not even to Jobert. And worse, raids are beginning at night. I'm to go tomorrow. I'm to go tomorrow night, okay? Uh, back from the raid, can't sleep. Shells falling. The soles of my boots are worn thin, my feet bloody and blistered. Lost too many out there, I feel trapped. Last night, the entire barrack was awakened by the sound from the tunnel. Nightly, they grow louder. 
When I slept, I dreamt of other worlds of pain wrapped in ecstasy. This morning, we are all as ghosts. Things cannot continue this way. I will enter the tunnels and see if I can find some way to end this for all of our sakes. So was it the, is this the person who decided to blow up the entrance or something? I wonder. Um, now, the cool thing about this is, I mean, that was, that was interesting, but it didn't really give us anything critical. And it sucks because I felt like this was an important part, and maybe it wasn't. Well, I got out of there. Right? Maybe that wasn't an important part. I don't know. There's the rats again. This doesn't open. This also doesn't open. So how the fuck do I get out of here? It sounds like the creature's around, so I'm just going to walk through here to try to lose it. I'm not going to make any noise. Here's a log. Uh, to Amanda Nicolai. Dearest, thank you for the package. I'm saving the chocolate for a special occasion and I'm keeping the photo close to my heart. It's been weeks now since I've been called for any combat action. A new kind of fear is spreading inside the bunker. Last night I woke with a chill, a strange sound emanating from deeper in the bunker, a kind of moan, perhaps a growl or a howl. I went to investigate, find myself standing at the entryway to the Roman tunnels. The sound came from inside. Sounds like we're going to be going to these Roman tunnels at some point. I dare not shine a light inside for fear of what I might see. <clears throat> then a scrambling thudding came racing towards me from the darkness. A shape loomed up out of the shadow. I reached for my sidearm, ready to fire. It was Toussaint. He'd been awakened as well, but unlike me, he dared to enter the tunnels. He says he saw something down there. Uh, as we stood at that maw listening, the howling, howling, howling grew distant, receding to where I dare not guess. Perhaps our minds are gone, or perhaps there's something down there. Toussaint will not tell me what he saw. Please write me again soon. Johan. I just got another grenade. There's a trip wire there, so I don't want to die to that. I won't bother with the dog tag because we know it's blank. It's a trap. Okay, well, thing is we have doors here, but the doors are all locked. I could try throwing a grenade at one of these doors, right? This is where we came from? Yes, so I need to run. I could run this way. So what door do I want to open? We can open this one. And there's a map in there and maybe some useful info. I don't know. We could open. How many grenades do I have? One? I have one grenade, right? Oh, wait. It's a gas grenade. Never mind. A few seconds after being thrown, it spews toxic gas. So that's that's not going to help me. Right? That's just not going to help me at all. Uh, is there a way I can break this door with something thrown heavy or something? Like, is there something heavy I could throw? This is no. There's nothing heavy. It's light stuff. I need to break doors open, but I have no means to do so. I can't open this one, right? I can't open this one. There's like two or three doors here that I need to open, and I don't have any way to open any of them. And I did daisy chain the electricity this way. Oh, I didn't go in here yet, did I? Oh, okay. Go ahead and power this up. What is that music we're hearing? Once again, if I can open this, look. There's a bunch of shit in there, but I don't know how to open it. Like, you needed something to open that gate, but I don't know how to open them. The game hasn't explained that. What is this? Oh. Can I just... I'm gonna drop this. A stick? The fuck do I use that for? Combining? You craft it with so What do I craft this with? Ugh. You need to find a wrench? I haven't found a wrench. Right? Dang it. I have too much inventory now. Is this a heavy brick? Maybe we could open something with this? Maybe. Oh my god, we're gonna try it. Thank you to PS3 True for becoming a channel member tonight. I appreciate that, PS3 True. 
Let's go all the way back to these doors, see if we can open these doors with this giant brick. It seems like this is what they want you to do, that's why it's so heavy. <clears throat> this door and the other door over here, we'll try both. So we're gonna do it, ready? We're gonna charge it. Alright, and here we go. Almost, it did crack, see that? I think I opened all the lockdown doors, so I go other directions now, too, I think. First of all, let's save. Let's store some... Let's store the gas grenade. Let's store the flare. <clears throat> I don't know what the stick is for. I think you could craft something with it, but I don't know how... Uh, how useful it'll be or not. Thank you. PS3 Troops says my membership had amnesia. Well, thank you for that. Now we are a new member. We're a 501. Thank you for that. Good. Uh, I received a dollar tip, but I want to see if it's real or not, because we had some trolls tonight. Uh, let's see here. Okay. So, it's a dollar, anonymous dollar tipper. It says, howdy, Phil. How's the new amnesia so far? I hope to catch it on demand, as well as tomorrow's clip show. Is it in the same timeline or a reboot remaster? I have no idea. And I don't know if they're ever really going to explain if it has any ties to the other games. Maybe by the end we'll know. For now, it just seems to be its own deal. Uh, with nothing too crazy to tie to the other games. As, you know, they found some Roman tunnels with goo. And they're thinking that's where the creature came from. And it's making them all hallucinate. That's what the logs are saying in the bunker. But outside of that, uh, you know, nothing, nothing much else. So, okay, um... I forgot to tell how damaged you are. I totally forgot. I just saved, right? Should I keep the, the stick on me or get rid of it? Maybe I'll get rid of it. Put it in storage. Same thing with the healing. Put that in storage to have more inventory space. Because we got to go back now where we came from. See what, what that door opened and everything, right? Should I keep it? Some people saying keep it. Yeah, but then I'm only going to have three inventory spots. I don't know about that. Hmm. We'll 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 do this for now. Okay. Is it still out there? Seriously? Shut up! Like, like chill out, you stupid thing. Now nah, it's not here. It's just making noise. Yeah, I don't know how. To, I don't remember how to look at the blood on your fingers. I totally forgot. This game already has like way too many controls, in my opinion. And I'm just going to keep forgetting what I'm doing. I know it. So. Alright, let's see what we open. If I open in that door, there's another door too. Willow, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Sounds good. Wait a minute. Okay, there's the brick. I was like, where's my brick? There it is. So, let's see what we've got. Oh my god, we got a bunch of shit in here. What's that? We got a photo. And the photo is... What the fuck? How am I supposed to read that? It looks like a map. It's a door and it says... Beaufoy, Quint, Marisa... You know what this is? This is the barracks. It's a map of the barracks. Telling you whose bed is whose. So maybe we're just going to tell us... Oh, go to someone's bed to get an item or something, right? Might be what we're about to find out. Let's see. Here's some gas. Odd occurrences last night. Uh, it's SDD Sergeant, because it's supposed to be SGT, but it's, it's saying SDT. I don't know if that stands for something different. But, uh, Lambert, thought dead after his patrol on the 8th, returned to the barracks in fine health. He carried with him Clement, severely wounded from an explosion. Lambert reports the following. Midway through his patrol on the 8th, he fell into a deep crater and was unable to escape. Oh, these are the guys at the beginning, no? Are these the guys at the beginning, Lambert and Clement? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it is. But, uh... 
Clement and his close friends snuck out after him last night, located him in the crater, and carried him out. They were spotted in an ensuing attack. Clement was injured by an explosion. It fell on Lambert to carry him back. So this is the intro. Very odd, Lambert was neither injured from the fall nor the explosion, and he ended up saving the man who came to save him. But battlefield luck is an odd thing. In every life, fate's winds blow erratic. Judging by Lambert's description, the crater he fell into seems to have been located very close to the Roman tunnels we unearthed. It may have been a result of the work down there, so that would, that crater was near the Roman tunnel. We recommend a future patrol to investigate and make sure we have not opened up a back door into our own bunker. Okay. Shotgun shells, handgun ammo. Let's load. So, here's the map. The sub map added to your main map. Cool. So, this is now added. As you can see, that's where we are. See the circled room? So, down there, there's a dark room and a security room, which I don't think we have access to those yet. Down the other way, it says there's a break room, a utility room, a bunch of stuff. See that? And we didn't go all the way down there yet, did we? I think we had found the brick, and so we came back here and opened this door, right? But then we didn't, we didn't actually like fully go through there. Because look, there's a kitchen, there's a pantry, a break room, a utility room, a mess hall. All that stuff. Okay, so we got a sub map added now. That's cool. Nothing. Okay. So I guess that was kind of important. There's a dossier here, but we can't do anything with the dossier. Right? I guess I am a little damaged. Should I use this first aid? Maybe I will. I guess I'm a little damaged, so I'll use it. There, we got rid of that red haze on the screen. Um, alright, so I guess we opened this door. Now, can I use this brick to open that other door? There was two doors over here to open. Just so everyone knows, we got about roughly 10 to 15 minutes left on tonight's premiere stream of Amnesia the Bunker. Hope you guys are liking it. If you are, let me know. And uh, thanks to those who chilled tonight. more gas in the machine because we're here. <clears throat> Just makes sense. I get the feeling we're going to end up running out of gas. It's going to be very frustrating when we do, right? Because we're in the early parts of the game, so there's a lot of gas. But if we run out of gas, like, how are we going to fucking do anything? We're not going to be able to see shit and half the doors won't open, right? So that's going to make it really frustrating. Alright. <clears throat> You're enjoying it, Mika? I'm glad to hear that. Does the game run on Xbox? This is Xbox. What I'm playing it on right now. Okay. Good night, Airhead. See you later. We haven't gone to the prison yet. That's a new area to check out eventually. So we haven't been there yet. Right? A totally new area. We're busy in communications trying to figure out what we're supposed to be doing down here. We got a new part of the map now unlocked. Let's see what's in this room that we just opened. Pretty sure this is not a very important photograph. Just saying. Right? Dark Goldbox says, good to see you. Horror game has been a bit. Clay JT says, hope you're enjoying your gameplay. Hope your day was good. Thank you, Clay JT. 
So, Clemens Journal. July. My conscience Night. compels me now as My it... My conscience oh. compels me now. Hold on. As it failed to compel me then. <clears throat> I must do something, even if it costs me my own life. I must do something lest I never sleep again. I must do something or risk greeting hell itself as a relief. I must do hmm. something. I go. Don't know what he went and did. Clement, 1352. So we now have a new locker combination that we can go back to that room <clears throat> and unlock his locker on the way back <clears throat> to the main area, right? Yes. What else here do we have? Anything else in here? Nothing in there. Push that. Oh, look. Oh, God. We almost died. We gotta be careful. There's tripwires everywhere, right? Explosive barrel right there. Oh, <sighs> Fournier claims one of us killed Raynard, but I saw Raynard's corpse. His eyes were gone, gouged from his skull. His tongue was shredded. <clears throat> wow. We all hated Raynard, but none of us could have done this. War is a brutality, but it is anonymous. Mechanized, we fire at distant soldiers. Whoever did this, it was intimate, it was sadistic. I fear for all of us. This is the other side of the room we were already in, as you can see. We have to figure out how to open that door, right? Once you figure out how to open that door, we can get some, or not that door, that grating, we can get some items, right? Explosive barrel. happened I really have no clue. It sounded like the creature was behind me. I couldn't run because there were rats. So I jumped over the tripwire. I jumped over the rats and I just instantly died. So. I'm actually lost as to what happened right there. So anyway. Uh, we basically are going to have to redo that. What we're going to have to do is go back to that area we were just at. And go back to the, <clears throat> to the other room we just opened. And grab some of those items again. It's not a big deal. What room is that down there? Right? We're going down the stairs. That's the clerk's office. So this would be Barracks B. That's what room that is. That's Barracks B. See that? And... Do we, I don't think we went... Did we go into any of these? The pantry, the kitchen, the break room, or the utility? I feel like we didn't. I feel like we haven't been in those rooms yet. Like, I know we've been in Barracks B from two different directions. And we saw that grating that you can go to. And there's items there, right? And what's weird is that there's a circle on communications, but we were at communications, but there was nothing to do. Were we supposed to do something in the communications room we, we forgot or didn't realize? Maybe. Maybe we were actually supposed to do something there, and we screwed up, and we didn't do it, right? I'm almost feeling like that's we messed up. Like when we were there, there was something else to do in the room, like maybe mess with the, with the radio or something. Because why is it still circled red? I don't know. I mean, there's items and resources here we didn't get yet, but it seems like that would be a key one. Now, we haven't been to the prison at all yet, so that's a whole new area we can explore. 
I don't know how we access the arsenal because it was locked, but maybe now that we've lifted the lockdown, right? Ellipsia says you need to find a way to get power to communication somehow. Oh, and they were talking about daisy chaining. So maybe what we need to do is follow the power lines, make sure every single switch is flipped on the way to communications, and then it'll work. All right. So we have, when we play again, we have a few things to do, right? We have to focus on looking for that daisy chain to get the power on. We have to focus on being in that barracks B again and looting and not dying this time or alerting the creature. I don't even know what happened that we alerted it. We, we screwed up somehow. I don't know what we did. Um, but anyway, all right. So that was an interesting introductory two hours to the game and it's cool how the maps will populate as you actually find the maps in the area they populate with your goals i guess which is kind of nice um i would say so far it's, it's decent uh you know there's not really much to fall in love with yet or anything you know what i mean like it's not oh my god blowing me away it's surprisingly very similar to the previous amnesia games although with amnesia rebirth that one was way more... It was like a linear progression game. If you remember, you went from area to area. And yes, there were puzzles and sneaking to do. But it was like a lot of moving around. And this, you're in the same bunker the whole game, right? So it's a little bit different. It feels a little bit claustrophobic, I would say. Because you're kind of stuck in this bunker the whole game. And all you're trying to do is walk around and find different ways to open up the different areas. You know what it almost is? I know this kind of sounds weird, but it sounds Metroid-esque, right? It's kind of like a game where you see everything at first, but it's all locked. And then as you gradually make progress and do different things it unlocks other areas to access and new you know new abilities like i get you i guarantee you that we'll, like we have shotgun ammo we'll probably end up finding shotgun a shotgun to use at some point right we're going to find these various different things <clears throat> um so so far it's all right i would say you know um we had a great attendance although it's weird because i don't feel like a lot of people were talking tonight in the chat but we had absolutely great attendance on the stream and thanks to those who engaged and everything all right so thanks for that and uh you know next time around what we're gonna have to do is backtrack where we just were back to barracks b i guess what we'll do is try to look for the uh, opportunity to daisy chain the electricity to get it to communications and see how we can power up communications and go from there i get the feeling each wing will have one major objective you need to complete like maybe each wing will have one component of the dynamite you need to blow open the exit or something like that right that's what i'm thinking um but anyway, thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts. If you guys are, are watching on demand, let me know your thoughts about the game. Leave a comment and say, hey, you liked it, you didn't like it, did you find it interesting, did you find it boring? You know, this essentially is the same formula as the other Amnesia games, and what that means is that it definitely is a lot of wandering around, not knowing what to do till you figure it out. Um, the game isn't going to give you much guidance, right? Um, and a lot of instant deaths... You can't really fight the enemy. It's not like a combat game. It's more survival and reading a lot of logs. It's, it's kind of, you know, what exactly what I expected that the game would be. Uh, I didn't know how much better or worse it would be from the previous Amnesias. I would say, it's all right for now. I don't want to really judge yet until we get further in. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, thanks for watching. These these first two videos of any playthrough are the most important. If you, if you like the videos, leave comments. Let me know what you think of the playthrough. I would really appreciate that. Until we continue with Son later in the week, alright? So thank you all, and uh, until next time.